You know, I have a cough button, but I always forget to turn it back on. Hey, no, so don't touch it. Yeah, I better not. <laughs> How you doing? Good morning. Hey, everybody. If you would like to support the show, please check out the links in the description box. We have links to Patreon, PayPal, GoFundMe. Michael's got some Ojibwe language children's books, comics, coloring books for sale at Amazon.com. Chibiquetch! Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Dr. Evil says, I give coffee to everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you for this cup of Makade Mashkiki Wabu. I keep saying it that way. Makade Mashkiki Wabu. Makade Mashkiki. Not Makade Mush. Kiki Wabu. <laughs> Makade is black. Mushkiki. Medicine. Wabu. Water. Makare mashkiki wabu. Makare mashkiki wabu. Black medicine water. Coffee. You know. Hey, Surrealist is here. Well, hey, Surrealist. Bonjour. Me no giga jab. Jefferson Airplane today. Do you know Today by Jefferson Airplane? Um, I don't know. The only Jefferson Airplane I know is, Jane, you're playing the game. You never can win, girl. There's a time for love and a time, time to, to let, let me, me be, be, babe. <laughs> <laughs> like a cat and a mouse. Cat and a mouse. From door to door and house to house. Don't you pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Jefferson Airplane. I remember that song had a great kind of unforgettable guitar riff beginning. We used to listen to Jefferson Airplane on a jukebox down at the old cafe uh. in Laporte. Here is a story from my childhood. I grew up in a town not that unlike Mayberry. <laughs> you think Laporte's like Mayberry? Yeah, my experience was. I mean, that was before all the methamphetamines came in <laughs> to the community. But back in the days of the grandfathers, this would have been the 1970s, uh, early 80s maybe, I used to play summer baseball. We called it Little League. And in Laporte, uh... Somebody had it together enough to pay two teenagers to be the coaches of this summer baseball team. Uh, nobody cared about us enough to get <laughs> us baseball uniforms. You know, like usually when summer baseball leagues, they'd be have like, oh, here come the, uh, you know, the Bad News Bears mm -hmm. sponsored by whoever, <laughs> you know. Here comes the Bemidji. We used to play teams like Vinyl Sash. Like some signage company would sponsor the team and the kids would show up on a bus in their new baseball uniforms and cleats and matching hats and all this stuff. Our team was made up of just a bunch of rugged small town kids who would ride their bikes by themselves. I don't remember any parents dropping off kids let alone watching our practices or anything, or coming to the games for that matter. Um, but we'd get together every day in the summer to play baseball. And I'd have to ride in with the, you know, two kids on our, you know, three of us riding our bikes three miles into the baseball practice. And these two hungover teenagers would come in and swear at us. <laughs> but we'd play baseball every day. And then once a week or whatever, we'd have a game. And sometimes we'd load up in cars. I guess there had to be some parents who would drive us to the games if it was out of town. But we didn't even have t-shirts. We'd just show up and play in our jeans. I remember I got in trouble at one game because I was wearing a baseball cap. But it was a grain belt beer cap. 
<laughs> really? How old were you? I was like a fifth grader. I didn't know what it was, what beer was. I mean, I knew what beer was, but I didn't know Grain Belt was a brand of beer. It just happened to be a hat that I was wearing. An adult came over. The ref was like, you shouldn't be wearing that hat. I go, what's wrong with this hat? We don't have uniforms. I'm sorry. I'm wearing sunglasses, hat, Grain Belt hat, and a Kiss t-shirt to play first base. All right. <laughs> Um, but, uh, he said, yeah, you know, it's a beer hat, but then they let me do it anyway. So anyway, so we'd play baseball and why am I telling the story? It's something to do with the song Jane. Oh, right. <laughs> After practice, we'd get on our bikes and Laporte, the school, they used to call it the Hilltopper. All the annuals, all the yearbooks would say Hilltopper, L-H-S, Hilltopper. Because it was on top of this really steep hill that would go down and connect in with the main highway that was this curve through the the little town. You know, we just... Laporte's really small. It's just got one street, basically. But at, I don't know, 11 o'clock, noon, whenever we quit baseball practice, you'd see a whole army of kids on bikes, 10 speeds, no helmets, some of us riding without even holding the handlebars. That was a popular thing when I was a kid. You had to learn to ride your 10 speed without any hands. <laughs> like, like we were all just like riding around like we're on unicycles or something. Down this really steep hill to get down to the cafe. You'd walk into that cafe and you could tell it was like a quiet little dark cafe, a bunch of elders in there sipping coffee, telling stories, reading the paper. But in the back room, was the game room. And they had a pool table with almost enough room around it to shoot pool. You'd always be banging your, your cue stick into the wall or whatever. And there was a, uh, let's see, they had um, a pinball machine mm -hmm. and a uh, Asteroids or whatever. Like one of the first video games. Maybe there was a, even a Pac-Man. I don't know. But a couple of video games, pool table. Maybe it was even a... Oh, yeah, I think they had a uh, ice hockey. No, they didn't. That was somewhere else. But we go down there, get our change together, buy a hamburger, maybe a milkshake, or more likely than not, just do nothing. Just go down there and play pool. Some of the kids would smoke cigarettes. You know, <laughs> not me, though. I was a, I was a fifth grader. Um... Sixth grade, well, anyway. But I remember playing, you'd put a dime in the jukebox. You know, just like old Joan Jett. <laughs> and that was one of the songs we always played. Jane. Box. Like a cat in a mouse. And there was like a disco riff on there. Well, well, the night oh, yeah. we spent together. Yeah, yeah. 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 La, 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 la. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> That's, that's what I think of. When I hear Jefferson Airplane, I think of summer baseball. Yeah. A Jefferson Airplane is a roach clip. Oh, is that what that means? Because <laughs> I know when they when they tried to, you know, modernize their band, they called themselves Jefferson Starship. <laughs> oh, now we're into starships. But a Jefferson Airplane is a roach clip. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Bunch of stoners. <laughs> <laughs> Muckaday says, I liked music from Fleetwood Mac's Rumors album. Yeah, no kidding. I played that music to death. 